Yo, what's going on guys, Professor here, back again with another video. In this video guys, I'm going to be playing with this stupidly no-skill giant deck. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like and sub. So on the first game here, we're facing Akam, so let's see what you're playing. This giant, this giant deck, guys, giant is so no-skill, and this guy just went lava first play. Uh, I hope that he doesn't have Barbarians, so I'll just error that. Because giant's going to most likely take his tower down. Okay, he played the Mega Minion, we're fine. So, yeah, in the first game, we're going against the uh, Hard Counter, uh, Lava Hound. Yeah, Lava Hound is so difficult. You, you, Lava Hound, basically, in the meta right now, it has, like, the best deck. It's like, it counters every single deck after the release of Void. You, it counters Expo, it counters Giant because of the Barbarians. Uh, it, yeah, you just, Lava Hound is way too good in the meta right now, especially <laughs> it's just because of the Void. So I just go Giant over here, and then... If he goes Barbarians, I'll just ability and then go... I'll predict him now. Oh, nice one. I'll just arrow and... Okay, that was quite nice. We're gonna get some nice damage. Yeah, we'll take those. Okay, so... Yeah, this giant deck is just way too no skill, guys. It's just stu so stupid and brain dead. All you do is just, you know... You just defend. And then you just go spam giants ev everything at the bridge. And then especially Phoenix... Phoenix is so good against this new tower tube. If the tower, if the uh, dagger duchess is out of daggers, the Phoenix is going to get an insane value and it forces your opponent to spend a lot of elixir on top of it. And then you're going to just get insane positive elixir trade and then you're going to just basically win the game. So here I'm going to try to avoid the balloon. Most likely I'm going to get one balloon hit, but it's fine. So I'll just arrow that and we're fine. Yeah, this is the reason why Lava Hound is so good. You just basically cannot defend the balloon, which is so stupid. And yeah, it's just way too dumb. But I'll just go Knight in front of this to protect. I'm going to go Phoenix as well, because why not? And then, yeah, and by the way, I'm running Evil Skeletons in the deck. You guys can run like Evil Wizard instead of the Evil Skellies or Evil Bomber. I just personally, I prefer Evil Skellies because they're going to make my cycle faster and they're going to get a lot of value against other giant decks. Because they always force out uh, something, force out arrows. So I just go with Skelly because if he plays a uh, called Barbarians, they're gonna just uh, rig the Barbarians and uh, take the tower. So that was quite good play at my end. I'll just go LP Phoenix and then I'm gonna avoid the balloon again. And oh no, I hit the Lava Hound, I guess. Oh yes, I did. Oh wait, the uh, balloon got pushed, but all right, didn't change anything. But we won the game. Uh, I don't think so that that damage is enough, right? Yeah, we're, we won the game. Really nice win, and I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here, up against XUXU, so let's use a plane. So I'm going to just start again by playing my... Okay, I'm going to knight on top of the drill. We're facing drill level 14. Drill, wow, that's kind of... Uh, uh, weird because like nobody plays uh, under level cards because you know it's just gonna be a really big disadvantage one level guys you might you, you guys might say okay it's one level it's not a big difference but it is it is a really it makes a really big difference for, for example if I I'm going to give you example of skeletons if you have level 14 skeletons uh, and your enemy has level 15 your skeletons cannot kill your enemy skeletons because, yeah, there is just one level uh, lower. I'll just avoid that. Arrows over there. And, yeah, just like that. We are up a lot of elixir right now. I'm 100% sure that he's going to play something for the Phoenix. And, hmm. I can go... I can go giant the bridge because he doesn't have Tesla in hand. But I'll just go for my... I guess I'll just play to the back. Yeah, I'm going to just go on chill. I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm gonna just chill back in, and also, I guess, uh, guys, I have evil, uh, I have the skeletons in the deck because it makes the cycle faster, and when your opponent is down elixir, you can fast cycle to another giant, then play the giant at the opposite lane or the same lane. It's gonna just basically take the tower down, which is crazy. I'll just void that, and that was really bad night. Yeah, um, yeah, he lost the tower. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. for a second, I forgot about those and. Okay, that's not tower down because evil skillies take down the giant health a lot, but that's a lot of damage for me. I'll just activate the king tower by my knight, and that's going to be perfect. So we'll just get the king to activation, boom, really nice, and hmm, let me see. Um, 
I was so tempted to go giant with that knight. But I feel like I'll just play chill. I'll just fisherman like this to kill the knight faster. And then I'll go phoenix. And then Evo Skelly's for the draw. Little Prince for that firecracker. I'm going to pop the ability because he's trying to protect it. And I'll just go giant. Wow, I have a lot of elixir on board. I don't know how he's going to defend this. I'll just void the Tesla. I don't think he's going to play it. Wait, wait, he has Evo Skelly's in hand. I'm going to be ready with my arrows. I'll play them now. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, that was crazy. Okay, yeah. I won the game. That is GG. So, really nice one right there against Draw. Yeah, Draw Firecracker deck. And yeah, this guy just gave up. And wow, he hasn't gave up yet. But that's GG. So, we'll take the win. And I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here up against Light. This guy has really good finishes and he's from Nate Clan. And also one more thing about Nate. Uh I guess it was yesterday, it was before yesterday. He was live and on live stream he was playing Rockets uh, minor rocket cycle and I, I faced I faced him uh, like accidentally while he was on live. And the bad thing is that I was playing Piggy's Pig's Poison deck. And he had login delivery and also Rocket, so he yeah, he hard countered me and I lost to him on stream, <laughs> which was kind of, um, you know, it was kind of embarrassed. Not embarrassed because he was like, you know, had the hard counter. But yeah, he was like really chill guy. And yeah, that was kind of fun. Just something that I want to mention. Um, all right. So I just go giant and then he's running Sparky. He doesn't have a Sparky in hand. That's why I went giant, but he has mini P.E.K.K.A. I wanted to go fisherman, but he played the knight, which is well played it is in. I'll just go Phoenix because Phoenix is so good in this, like in this situation, because it's gonna damage down everything and um, yeah, it's gonna get a lot of value. I'll go skeletons and we're, we're, we're fine. Yep, that is clean defense right there. And all right, let me see what we can do here. I feel like I'll just chill back and wait for him to play his Sparky or something. Then I'm gonna Void it. Void is also so good against Sparky. Void is so good against Arch Queen. I'll face some Arch Queen players. And the fact that Void just two shots the Arch Queen is so stupid. Like, there's not a single other spell at the game that kills Arch Queen. Like, except, yeah, except Lightning or Rocket. Because, as, as and as you know, that they, they are, like, one negative Elixir trade, which is not that much good, but still worth it to play it. But Void for three Elixir, two positive Elixir trade, and you it's going to just kill the Queen on two shots, which is straight up stupid. So, I'm... I'm really big fan of this card getting a nerf and the mini pack I got a hit. I thought it's not gonna get a hit. But it did. It's fine though. Um okay, let me see what we can do. I'll just go for my giant to the opposite lane. And then I'll fisherman for the oh, I thought he's gonna play mini pack, but it's fine. I'll just void that. Arrows for the prediction minions. Maybe he, yeah, he played it later. I thought he might try to uh, protect the sparky, but he didn't. It's fine. I'll just go for my knight. And then Phoenix to kill those minions. Hopefully my knight stays alive a little bit. Oh no, it died. It's fine. I'll just go giant anyway at the bridge. And then I'll avoid the sparky. Oh no, I hit the tower though. That is bad. Uh, Yeah, that was kind of bad. Void on my end. But I guess everything died again. So I feel like that's what matters the most. He might go gone giant in front of this 1 HP. Yeah, he did. I'll just fish him in. And then Knight Phoenix. The Sparky died, which is great. Evo Skellies for that. And then I'll just go Giant at the bridge. Uh, okay, let me see. He's going to arrow everything. Good arrows value at this. I'll just fish him in for the mini packer. Hopefully, we get a Giant hit at least. Um, nice. We got one Giant hit, which is great. Mm, okay, 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 okay. I feel like I'll just go for my... Um, I don't know, if I go knight, he's gonna just sparky and it's gonna just get, I know, I get zero value out of my knight, so he just wastes off three elixirs, I'll just go LP, skellies, void, he's gonna predict the sparky, which is for sure, yep, there's the knight, I'll just knight the same lane of that goblin giant, phoenix on top, and then if he plays anything to defend the, to kill the phoenix, I'll just arrow it, never mind, he played the void, 
Uh, Skelly's Fisherman, and then our arrows. We should be fine on defense. So let's go Knight to damage down that faster and also protect my Fisherman because of that mini P.E.K.K.A. And then I'll just go Giant and then Phoenix. Oh, okay, what should I do now? Just go for this at the back. Arrows. By the way, guys, I'm not a beatdown player. And the fact that, you know, I can play with this deck is just stupidly it just shows how good this deck is even though that you're not the beatdown player you can still play with this deck so i just go fisherman to i don't know predicts get something or maybe not i'll just arrow this and that giant's gonna get one hit which is super great i'll avoid the well, never mind i have to defend this first i'll go for this fisherman knight and then i'll arrows and we should be okay on the oh whoa, 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 that was really good arrow value which is great i'll go skill his phoenix to kill that sparky and that is ggs right there yeah really nice and right there against light and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to like and sub and i'll see you guys in the next video peace